good evening everyone so uh, my name is mr pavan bhuya and i represent we were private limited so uh, i have received a special case from one of my clients uh, who has a website with wordpress and now he needs a membership management system on his website so what he really want is that he have a wordpress website okay now he want a membership management system where uh, the site is basically for an ngo and they want if a particular member wants to be or if a particular person wants to be a member of their uh, organization then at first they should register themselves as a free user register the free user and then they should be able to get the option to make the payment okay payment for membership and uh, if the membership and and if the uh, payment for membership gets successful in that case the member should be or uh, the person should be treated as a paid member okay so we have several situations here and this could be easily done with the help of wordpress and uh, several other plugins of wordpress so the first in the first scene what we have done we have built a website with wordpress okay next we have choose one uh, membership plugin and uh, we can use woocommerce plugin for capturing the payment or the for creating the membership plan okay so this is the second plugin on the third uh, we have to use woocommerce membership plugin to create the membership plans okay and on the uh, and in in the third step we have to uh, create custom forms create custom registration and login forms custom registration and login forms for the website okay so uh, if we uh, didn't choose our, our Word, wordpress as our website development tool or CMS and if we have coded the website uh, using some frameworks like Laravel or Coding Codeigniter then this the entire scene could be done in like less than 30 or 40 minutes but since we are using WordPress in this scenario so what we have to do is we have to use several plugins for this okay so let me uh, open the website So this is the website so here we have the option of become a member okay so what I will do I will simply copy the front end URL and I will go to WP admin and now I'll be downloading three I have already downloaded all the plugins so I will simply be showing you the, all the steps I will be using these three plugins. The first plugin is called um, WooCommerce. Okay. After installing WooCommerce, what I will do, I will simply go to products and create one new product. I have already created the product and now I will simply show you how I have created the product. I have created a product and the name of the product is membership plan. I will click on edit and here the name of the product is membership plan. I haven't used any uh, photographs images for this page no description at all but here what we have done we have uh, in in the product data field i have selected the product as a simple product and this is a virtual product okay so let's assume the cost of the product but the cost of the membership is 3000 and once we have done all the steps then uh, just the name of the product the regular price of the product and the sale price of the product and then we can click on update no other uh, ch uh, change or update to be done in this page so our first uh, use of this plugin is complete now we have to use the second plugin which we will be calling woocommerce membership okay so now i will go to plugins and let's check what is woocommerce membership so this is a plugin called woocommerce membership you can easily download this plugin from woocommerce official website this is the link of the plugin okay 
now I will go to configure so here uh, what I have done I haven't made any changes in this website or in this in this plugin page I all all the options are as it is now here uh, I have done just two or three changes the change is content restriction mode okay specifies the way content is restricted so uh, this simply means that if I enable WooCommerce membership plugin and if I enable this plugin on some special pages then the content of that page will not be able to be or not be visible to the general public once the uh, uh, once the general public gets registered as a special uh, role of the user role in that case the product will be visible to that user okay so this is not something uh, we should really touch we can avoid these steps and now I will go to products and uh, here even here we have to do nothing and then messages we shouldn't touch, touch this section as well let me go to memberships once again okay now what I will do I will have to do is to click on membership and I, I'll be I, I should create a new membership plan I have already created a membership plan so this is a membership plan if you have to create a new membership plan just go to or click to add new membership plan and now I will be editing this plan okay so I will just uh, name the plan as membership slug membership I think you already know about what is a slug then grant access upon on manual assignment only user registration or products purchase so here what I have done is that I have cre already created a product called membership plan on the first stage uh, uh, with the help of this uh, plugin WooCommerce plugin and now I have created a membership plan and uh, uh, I have created a scenario the scenario is something like that if a customer registers on our website okay then he or she will be able to get the page where he or she can buy that product our product is not a physical product it is a membership plan so we can call it as an intangible product or uh, we can call it as an intangible or uh, virtual product all right next next uh, we have set a condition where if someone purchases this product okay he or she will be able to get a special membership role on our website okay so now we have created a new membership plan and the plan now the plan is membership and uh, the and uh, what we have given here the grant access upon purchase of a particular product and here we have choose that product okay membership so this is the membership uh, plan of the product which we have created with WooCommerce and the length of the membership is unlimited we haven't given any fixed uh, length of this membership and once we create all the required fields we can simply click on update button okay so existing purchases all right so we can simply click on the update button so now our second scenario is also completed once a person or a customer who purchase anything or purchase that particular product from our website he will get a special access of our uh, what we call website okay so now what we have to do is we have to create a custom registration form and for creating the custom registration form I have downloaded another plugin the name of the plugin is hmm, ultimate member okay I have downloaded this plugin called ultimate member and now uh, once I have downloaded and activated this plugin now we'll be clicking on um, settings after clicking on settings 
uh, here uh, on the top part of the page we will get an option to create all the relevant pages of the for, for, for the plugin like uh, user space uh, for the user user page login page register page member place page logout page account page and something like that we can create on users we can create an account click on account and these are something which we shouldn't touch okay now let's go to access we shouldn't touch this section emails appearance miscellaneous so this is something which we have where we do not have to make anything now let's go to registration form and here the registration form which we will be using is the default registration form okay so what we will do here and uh, here we will do one more thing we will uh, give non-member as the default role of the new users will be registering on our website through this form so for creating the user roles i will click on user roles which we can find on the, on the section just below the ultimate member plugin okay so here i can click on add new and uh, i can give all the necessary actions which we have to give for that new user so i have created a new user called uh, new user role called non-member and member so my criteria is what i'm expecting is that if someone registers on our website we want to give him a user role uh, called non-member and if he purchased that particular product from our website we will be manually giving him the user role as member if someone satisfy this scene then we will be giving him that user role of member but if he simply register on our website but doesn't uh, purchase this product then his user role will, will be non-member so this is our scene we have created the user roles now what we will do we will simply go to the registration default template i'll click on forms okay and this is the page for the form and default registration i will click on edit and here i can uh, use which are the forms which we'll be using or which are the form fields which we'll be using i can click on uh, a plus button and i can select all the options which are required for my registration purpose so i have selected full name email address academic qualification interest password phone number and whatsapp number all right so all the um, all, all, all my criteria have now been fulfilled now i can simply go to our website and check what whether it is going correct or not okay so this is the short code we can also use this short code on our website so let's do all the things or let's understand all the things one by one i will be copying this url of the website and now i will open a new incognito window and let's click on the website so what we are expecting is that if someone clicks on become a member they should get two options okay let's click on become a member and for this i have created a simple uh, page for the users okay so here we have two options new member and existing member and if someone clicks on new member i'm expecting that that person should get the registration form and if someone clicks on existing member i'm expecting that that person should get the login page of the or login page of that what we call plugin okay so let's click on new member and if i click on new member here i'm getting nothing I'm getting nothing because I've already logged into this incognito. Let's close all the incognito and let's open incognito once again. And uh, let us open this URL, become a member. And here we are getting two options, new member or existing member. If I click on new member, I have simply copied this link this is the registration link which we have got from the plugin and the name of the plugin is ultimate member now let's go to pages this uh, plugin has already created all the necessary pages for our website and uh, here are all the pages and on the right hand side we can see um login um logout um members this simply means that these are the pages which have been created by the plugin ultimate member so now let's find where is the register so this is a page called register i will simply be copying this url 
and let's check what's the url is it is register dash two so i have uh, what i have done i have simply hyperlinked that registration page in this button and the login page in this button let's click on new member and new page will get open up let me fill up the form register so once i have registered what i have done is that uh, yeah so once i have registered i have simply uh, clicked on the registration button and now i can uh, easily uh, log into my account i have registered and now i'll be clicking on become a member okay and new member if i click on new member i won't be seeing anything i have to uh, uh, give one more filter here and now if i click on existing member since i have already logged in so okay i have clicked on new membership fee okay something is going wrong here thanks Okay. Let's see what's going on with this page. New membership fee. This is the member area, I guess, and this is the name of the page which we have created for yeah new membership fee okay let me check restrict access to this post and this oh sorry so uh, we have created two more members member roles non-member and member we have to give the option okay now let's reload become a member existing member yeah now you can see this space what i will do i will simply close the page i will simply close the window of incognito and now i'll again open the same link let's uh, okay okay so let us create one new more account become a member and new member so now till this point uh, become a member and new member now the plugin ultimate member started working this is the form which we have seen from the plugin of ultimate members okay all the necessary details So once the registration process is complete, now you can see two options here, become a member and donate now. So if I click on become a member, so here we have to understand how it's working. So if I click on become a member, let me just click on become a member. And now I can see that that product, the name of the product was membership fee, that product got added to my card the cost of that product was 3000 rupees and now i can see directly the checkout form of the website now i can easily place the order i can use any payment gateway now because i am using uh, woocommerce and now if i and now if i go to woocommerce and then go to memberships now i will be able to see the membership the activation date of this membership is from this date 
all right so this is all about the enter situation we can easily create memberships we can easily sell virtual products and uh, we, we can easily use any payment gateway or sms notification system using wordpress woocommerce uh, and uh, yeah wordpress and woocommerce plugins thank you for watching